lesson on impulse and momentum. Cruising down in the RAV4, going down the street, I try to make a stop, and there's no brakes. But I look up to my left and I see a haystack, and I look to my right and I see a brick wall. So the question is, which way do I turn? Do I veer left into the haystack or right into the brick wall? What do you think? So, what did you say? Should I bear left and crash into the haystack, or should I bear right and crash into the brick wall? In order to answer that, there's actually two questions you need to consider. The first question is, what is the same about both collisions? That is, if I have an initial speed and thus an initial momentum, well, both the haystack and brick wall will bring my car to a stop and have a velocity of zero, thus changing my momentum to zero, as shown here. The next question is, what is different about each collision? I know that both the haystack and brick wall will bring my car to a stop, but how exactly do they bring my t car to a stop, and do I have a choice? That choice being, if I want to survive the collision, I want to experience as small a force as possible. So which one of these provides me with the lower amount of force? Well, hitting a brick wall sounds like that will provide a very large force to my car. Whereas hitting and going through a haystack will provide a much smaller force to stop my car. The other thing that's different is the time of the collision. When I hit the brick wall, it's pretty immediate and pretty sudden. So that time is pretty small. If I go through the haystack, assuming there's a lot of hay there, that collision can last for a much longer time. Notice that both the haystack and the brick wall will bring my car to a stop and a final momentum of zero, but they do it in different ways. The haystack will provide a smaller force on my car for a larger amount of time, whereas the brick wall provides a large amount of force for a very short amount of time. Looks like I'll choose the haystack. Both the haystack and brick wall provide my car with an impulse. That impulse provided by the brick wall or haystack will change my car's momentum. Impulse changes momentum. And how does an impulse change momentum? It's applied by a force for a time. Impulse equals force times time. The units of impulse can be Newton seconds, since it's force times time, or also kilogram meters per second, since impulse changes momentum. The mathematics of the haystack brick wall. Using the fact that impulse changes momentum, Let's approximate how much force you would feel as you crash through the brick wall compared to the haystack. The mass of my RAV4 is about 1,600 kilograms, and let's say I'm traveling about 20 meters per second, which is approximately 40 miles an hour. What would my initial momentum be? Taking momentum as mass times velocity, this gives an initial momentum of 32,000 kilogram meters per second. Recall that both the haystack and brick wall change my momentum to a final momentum of zero. And so that means the impulse provided by the haystack and brick wall would also be the same since they both change my momentum from 32,000 to zero. Recall that delta is just a shortcut for final minus initial. So the change of momentum is the final momentum minus the initial momentum. For both, the final momentum is zero minus the initial is 32,000. So both the haystack and brick wall change my momentum by negative 32,000 kilogram meters per second. How is the impulse applied? Remember, it's force times the change in time. This would be the force from the haystack times how long I travel through the haystack. The brick wall would be the force the brick wall provides times the time of impact through the brick wall. Since we know the brick wall almost instantly stops my car, let's say that time is 0.2 seconds. Well, how much force will the brick wall provide on my car to change my momentum by 32,000 kilogram meters per second? If I divide both sides here by 0.2, I'll get the force. 
As a result, the force of the brick wall in my car would be negative 160,000 newtons. Negative sign just symbolizing that the force is opposing the motion of my car. That's a lot of newtons. Let's see how much force the haystack would provide my car. Let's assume there's enough hay in this stack that stops my car in about six seconds. That's a lot of hay, but that's going to be enough to stop my car in six seconds. If I divide both sides by six, I get a force from the haystack of only negative 5,333 newtons, which is much less than the force of the brick wall of the 160,000 newtons. Looks like I'll be choosing the haystack to go through. Now again, in summary, look at the fact that both the brick wall and haystack change my momentum from 32,000 kilogram meters per second to zero, but they do it in different ways. The brick wall provides a much larger force for a short time, whereas the haystack provides a much lower force, but over a much longer time. Both change my momentum by the same amount. Both provide with the same impulse, however, the force and times are different. Thank you for watching and see you in class.